Tommy Sam, Dean Salmon. David Hickey down there on his own end line, Harrison. And it's a goal, Michael Rooney! A goal for Galway, scored by Michael Rooney! And here it is again, the ball coming in from the wing, high across in front of the goal. He's outside the parallel of there's no argument, kicked it in by Michael Rooney, and Galway lead one goal and one, two, Dublin three points. Paddy with the kick out. That's the kind of show that might waken this game up. And here comes Stephen Rooney to Brian Mullins. Out along the wing now to Anton O'Toole. Anton too quick with the sidestep there for Joe Waldron. And he's still going on. He fits it in and it is over the bar. Anton O'Toole dazzling his way through there with a series of side steps and eventually that piston shot over the bar to make it four points each. Four points for Dublin, a goal and one for Galway and that's four points each. And there it is, the throw in of the second half and it's Jimmy Dublin. John Tobin trying to get to it, doesn't. Neem Salmon. John Doherty. Trying very hard to stop him going in there, and here's Michael Rooney, and a great save by Paddy Cullen. A great save by Paddy Cullen, a point-blank shot by Michael Rooney, and Paddy Cullen not only saving it, but holding it. Michael Rooney, having the game of his life since he developed into a senior here today, he's having a really fine game. Getting that ball out now to Tom Nocton, John Tobin. Gets away from Gail Driscoll this time. And Pat Sands with the ball. Into the center to Dean Salmon. Dean Salmon takes, trying to take a shot. And the referee has called for the ball. It is a penalty. A penalty for Galway. There is a penalty now for Galway. And Paddy Cullen, heaven help him, in there in the goal. And Liam Salmon, who has never missed a penalty, going to take it. I would never like to take credit for a turning point in a game, you know. I'll take credit for a turning point in a game later on in my career. But uh, certainly on that day, I suppose looking back on it, it was because um, from what I can recollect, Galway were two points ahead at the time. And if the goal had went in, it was five points. And it was about ten minutes into the second half of the game. And I think it would have made a difference had they gone five points up, I think. Galway needed that score at that time and they didn't get it. They'd missed a few early on and they needed that. The man with number 14 on his back just going to come up there on the left of your picture at any moment. Here it comes. And he saved it! He saved it! Oh, Paddy Cullen! Paddy Cullen has saved it! It only hit me on this part of the hand. I didn't actually get a full hand to the ball. It just came across the bottom of my palm. And I remember when I was hitting the ground saying, God, it's gone in. You know, and just as I looked around, then I saw it going dribbling wide. I didn't really think I'd actually stop it. Paddy gets his hand to it, deflects it out, and he deflected it over the line for a 50. But by heavens, what a great save it was. One point between the teams. Galway 7, Dublin 6. 1-4 for Galway, 6 points for Dublin. Just 14 minutes or so gone in this second half. And what a great second half it is. Oh, lovely bringing down of the ball there by Brian Mullins. The nerves are gone and the football is here. That's what it would appear to be. And the referee has gone running up, has seen something, and is awarding E to Dublin, and Jimmy Keith is going to take it. And it's over the bar. The bar, a lovely point by Jimmy Caveney from a very awkward angle. Stephen Rooney now. David Hickey getting inside there. Liam O'Neill, and here comes David all alone. Jimmy Caveney. And Jimmy high and over the bar in the lead for Dublin. Gilbert was almost silent in the first half, even when Dublin got scores becomes active, electrifying and loud as Dublin take the lead by eight points to seven. 
18 minutes gone in the second half and this is Brian Mullen this is Stephen Rooney and this is John McCarthy still John McCarthy and John McCarthy sends it over for Dublin Jimmy Duggan trying to block his way succeeding and here comes Galway oh Galway cut down a great play by Paddy Collin again Alan Larkin's kick knocked down Tom Nocton fouled and a free in for Galway what a great save with his knees shins I don't know where it was but he got it out ball being placed by John Tobin John bidding, believe it or not, for his first score of the game. What an important kick it is, because if he gets it, Galway will be just one point behind. He's got it, but Galway are just at one point behind. Liam O'Neill now. Willie Joyce. Galway looking hard for this equaliser. Jimmy Duggan now. There it is, in towards the goal mouth, and it's deflected out by Paddy Cullen. Nine points to eight, and here it is again. There's the shot. Gone in towards the goal, Paddy Cullen gets his hand to it, and deflects it out around the upright. Johnny Hughes with his 50. And it's over the bar, and they're level again. For Dublin, dead straight in front of the goal. That means shooting at a couple of the Dublin mentors to clear the field. As Jimmy sends it over and the lead for Dublin again. It's being held by Tony Hanahoe. Tony trying to get up the field with it now. And he's tripped as he goes. Three to Dublin. 21 yard line. Awkward angle, Jimmy Keaveney to kick. Alan Larkin is being attended to out the field. The shortage kick by Jimmy Keaveney to David Hickey. And David fits it over the bar for another point for Dublin. David Hickey, the scorer. A nice effort there is uh, a short free by Jimmy Keaveney to David Hickey and over the bar and now it is 11 points to 9 Dublin leading David Hickey again Jack Cosgrove doesn't hold this one Jimmy Keaveney does and Jimmy makes it 3 points Michael Rooney on the ground but uh, I don't think the Dublin man was near enough for him uh, to uh, persuade the referee that it was a free in under the ball there Jack Cosgrove this here is blocked by Brian Mullen to Jimmy Keaveney and it is over the bar a lovely point by Jimmy Keaveney the man who came back 13 points to 9 Dublin leading by these 4 points David Hickey running to that one. This is Tony Hanahoe near the end line. John McCarthy, Brian Mullins. And a point for Dublin by Brian Mullins. Well, the Jacks are back all right, and the way they're playing right now, the Galway backs are jacked. Kevin Heffernan down there telling them to stay back from the end line referee going down to tell them the same thing final whistle I'm sure not very far away he's heading up the referee is heading up to the centre of the field he's heading off the field he's now the whistle and the game is over there was 
a very emotional time for me. I think um, you know, I remember breaking down after the game. And, you know, Jimmy Keaveney's dad, Lord Reston, was the first man, and Paddy Cole, that great clarinetist, the two of them grabbed me. Out. I don't know how they got out on the field so quick. And Sean Doherty with his big hands nearly choked me. So, you know, it was a very emotional time. I'll never forget it. It was probably the best memory I have. As far as I'm concerned, the highlight of the 70s uh, was 74. Uh, OK, a lot of lads said, you know, beating Kerry in, in, in 77, in 76 and 77. But I think we'd been struggling for so long, and all of a sudden, we won an All-Ireland, which none of us expected. The older players in Canada, we didn't expect to do it. I think 74, above all the other games, uh, well, it was outstanding because it was so fresh, so new, so unexpected. We started off and thought that winning of a Leinster Championship would be a major achievement. To win an All-Ireland turned out to be, you know, so much cream on top of that.